so much. Well, what the hell did you put I, me on the I show for? Well, I put you on the show to get you on to talk about your, your series. We talked for a long time, actually. Oh, no, but we talked for a long time off the camera. I, <laughs> the new show, Mike Tyson Mysteries, airs every Monday Don night Lemon at 10.30 p.m. If you want to know anything about him, you ask me. If I ever hear you, if I ever see you go next to my fight again, you have a problem. I know the art of fight. I know the art of war. That's all I ever studied. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring. Because that's all my, I was annihilated. That's all I was born for. T92. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The, oh, these You know you're a real it. prick, though, right? What? What's the matter? You're a real prick. You've hit me with all the disgusting pictures. Oh, no, but uh, if you don't want to comment on it, don't. No, I, I will comment on it, but you're a prick. No, no, what? no, I didn't. I'm just trying to, we're, we're trying to, if you don't want to comment on it, you no, don't I have to. No, I am going to comment on it, but you're a prick. I'm just letting you know. Continue. I, yeah. I'm just, I just, we, we're coming back here. You're right? unsensitive. You have no sensitivity to anything. I'm not, it doesn't affect me, but I'm just saying you have no sensitivity. You don't know how does it affect me. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's just, it's just that your life is at the point I was making, Mike, and I'm going to ask you about it. It's all like right, and I give you my opinion, what I think about you. All right, well, your, your life has been shown on the cover of a magazine. That's something yeah, okay, that Okay, go people... ahead. Give me the okay. next one. Hey, come on. Move it. You want... I, I like this seat. I like it better. Yeah, you like this seat better? Yeah. need to give me more. Not delete this. <laughs> Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> I can't say no to your mic, but like... <laughs> Get a mic! J Gabe, hey accept on, it. Hey on, hey on, hey on. Feed him to the lambs and yep. get my money from that too. Yep. And may take his money too, the dumb motherfucker. He's nearly on Samsonite cable. No, Sam... Sam... <laughs> <laughs> Because sometimes my mind plays tricks on me and my mind tells me I'm up. If you think you're a fly and you walk around a bad man in the plant, why don't you fight that motherfucker? But why don't you just go right there and spit in his face? That guy right there. He, that's my mock swimming. Wow! You still got fire, man. Whoa! Why, and I'm saying, why are you leave me alone? I don't want to fuck these people. But he was a great man, and know what else? Was? Right. Only thing I didn't disagree, he never said he didn't like confrontation. No, he, he didn't was like not... confrontation. That surprised you, man. Yeah, and, totally and, and I'm different. I go right for your throat. Oh, I know that. I just go right for you. Not only in fighting, but just in life, I just go right for your throat. Especially if it's, it's a point where you violated somebody else's feelings or mine. You know? So when you told the story, for example, about being in Miami and kicking Don King in the head and having a brick of cocaine, that seems crazy to me. Well, that's what it was. Can you describe, uh, Mike, what your cocaine addiction was like? No, you can read about it in the book, though. Is there anything that was embarrassing to you, or is well, it something pre yeah, that you pretty embrace? much Well, pretty much a, a great deal of the book was, but um, that was the book. Uh, he wanted the truth. I gave him the truth. What would you describe as the happiest time in your life, Mike? Um, I don't remember. And then I realized um, not to ever talk to somebody. But I have, um, sh um, proceeding, asking me to shake my hand. Try to shake my hand right now. Let's try to do it. Go through the procedure. Go through the procedure. Just go through the procedure. No, it's been like this. Go like this. Hey, congratulations. Good fight. Yeah. Oh, I see. You, you ask me no. Yes. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> and um, I think I, was, won't, I won't do it one more time. That was the beginning of that whole intimidating thing. I was a little kid and I realized you don't talk. Don't talk to them. Um, just look at them like you want to kill them. Do you ever worry that you're being used for how open you can be about the things you've done in your life? I don't know. You don't want to give, um, I'm doing the interview. You tell me. Well, that's what I'm asking, because that's I, kind of a dilemma sometimes with dealing no, with somebody is how much is asking and how much is using. I don't know. Everyone knows me. Like I said before, I'm pretty transparent and stuff, so I figure everyone see who I am anyway. I don't look at the world as if I'm a block wall and no one can see through me. But it feels like this particular process, this feels a little bit uncomfortable and that we're poking at you for book sales and that we're poking and poking, asking you questions. I, I, don't, think, I, don't, I don't think you're poking at me. Do you feel that you're poking at me? No, yeah, well, a little bit. I feel like this, this whole process is not something, you've done it for so long that it's something that's less than enjoyable to you. The idea that we would sit here and in order to sell the book, we continue to ask you questions that you may or may not want to answer. I don't know, I'm asking you everything you tell me. Everything you say, I'm answering them. I'm not avoiding any of your questions. 
Do you figure that I'm avoiding anything, sir? No, no, not at all. I, I, but, I, but I'm not sure that you're enjoying it either. How dare you talk to me like that? You should, you should get up and kneel to me now, and I'll spare you the night of the 28th. <laughs> I'd also say, you come in and you come ready. You understand? Because I'm going to come uh, ready. You understand? OK. OK, you know that. I don't know you why you ready. talk to me like that when you know I'll kill you for it. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Mike. You talk tough. Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. He's a, he's a ignorant little kid, you know what I mean? And uh, he's going to be like that. I don't want to bring myself down to his level. So I don't really even want to cherish that thought. I'm going to go in there and we're going to fight. And that's the bottom line. Oh, man. I can't wait till the 28th. I'm going to make you my girlfriend. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, you. Hey. You, you know something? I'm not even going to um, dignify that with a hand. So you know why I'm not dignify that with a hand? Sir? Because I'm going to bring myself down to your level. There's something you can't buy in that class, and you don't got none of that. You're sweet. I'm going to make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. Can be learned in talking to some of the people he fought. Look at the, look at here, look at here. Just right, laughing at him. He's actually a whole man. Hey, Mike, Mike. Round three. Don't even spit on me when I turn my back because I'm ahead of them. Mm. No, it's gonna stop me, Mike. I don't care about one leg, two legs, everybody. Mm. You motherfucker. That's how I look at it. Mm. If you're not smart enough to be my friend, fuck you. Mm. I like that, I'll be honest with you. I mean, I like that attitude, man. I really do. Because everything, you everything make hurts, but you know, you want to escape pain. You think you're a guy that's planted without testing pain? Well, it hurt, it hurt. It's not like a phone, nigga. Oh, it hurt, it hurt. Right, right, right. I'm just that way. I'm just a animal when, when it comes to life, fighting for my life. I love to fight. Mm. That's all you did. He stung you. Right. You should, you should get on your knees and bless the feet. Right, well, you're changing, my, you're changing my thought process here. Look at you. We over here. I know we, what he means, yeah. No, we over here. We men. You know, over here. I would not hurt. I want to kill him because he stings you. Mm -hmm. Come on, monks. You think I wasn't coming back? Yeah. <laughs> you thought they were done with me? Hey, yeah. You thought God wouldn't help me come back? Yeah. But I'm here, yeah. And you're never gonna see me go again, yeah. And I'm here for good, yeah. And the good Lord will make sure I think I'm gonna get the revenge. Revenge is gone. It's the Lord. No. Amen. Give him an amen. Oh, no, no. It's, um, something happened that day. I don't know what happened that day. But whatever happened that day, was there a new Mike Tyson that came the next day? Um, no, I did some cocaine for a week. Mm -hmm. I had to get high. I had to back then. I had to get high. Um, I couldn't handle it at all. You have to go. No, you understand, right? Thank you. You want to take this stuff off? Let's go. Gave you life. Shit, Mike Tyson just put me in my place. You I can do I that. I come from the UFC world where there's one promoter. No, that's, no, that's bullshit. Because boxing. boxing's different, right? Boxing. Because there's so many promoters. Because Ryan's was no. the goal. No, I didn't put it in your place. I just really just explained to you what it really was. Yeah, no, I'm getting it. I understand it. You, 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 you're making sense. I don't really look, I don't think that deep, you know, that times, a lot of times. No, you life, do. You just don't know it. Only thing that blocks you from thinking deep is your selfishness. Me too. It's like this. You come, yeah, man, to this. Yeah. You know, you go, yeah, you're just and then boom, focus. Waiting for him to say attack. Dying, doing this. Oh, dying in the ring. Yeah. That's real talk, man. Yeah. That's real talk. Yeah. What is it about the, the shrooms, Mike? What, Excuse me? What is it about the mushrooms that you've uh, that you found that you like about them? You, you're scared. The way you look at me scares me a little bit. I'm not um, but right now with me, how somebody go try to get me now? Because I'm that kind of guy. I'm a I'm a controversial guy. And how are they going to try to get me? They got me with pussy last time. What are they going to do this time? Mm. Did people laugh at you when you were 13, 14 years old, saying you want to be the heavyweight champ? I was not my face. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. You, do you talk to therapists about it? Uh, you talk to therapists? Why would I talk to them? 
I don't know. Maybe it'd help you deal with some of the demons. I don't believe they're smarter than me. No. All right. I'm going to take you somewhere, and I'm going to tell you to go take you to the next level. Mike, I gotta encourage you to have a sip of that water. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate to be to. It's not ready yet. Okay, you know, I take your time. I mean, no way am I forcing or saying you have to do anything. Take your time. You're bad, but I'm not smoking, man. You smoked the shit. Why would you? These guys have got their phone so sucked into his blood. He's can't. He can't go nowhere. He's the he hell. can't see anything else. He yeah. can't go nowhere. He's locked with them. Yeah. He can't say fuck mother. I don't want to. Yep. <laughs> go, yeah, yeah. Goats. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait to see him in the streets and check him. Yeah. This is really, really bad yeah. stuff. Yeah. Really oh, really? Yeah. Wouldn't you think so? I would think so, but how did you manage that rage at that point? Like, when you're going to that point now, how do you manage that rage? Because... I don't know. My whole objective is your total surrender, your total domination. I'm going to destroy you. Every time I do, I look from this perspective. Every time I do it, I'm... It's a possibility I might die. And that why, and that makes me want to do it more. That's the mind. That's why Rogan said when he watched you, you were intimidating. You, you know, your rage is a very unique rage, uh, Mike. Well, that's their fault to be intimidated. That's their fault to be intimidated. Yeah. I had a mentor that I idolized. I wanted to make him proud. So I gave up everything for him. Mm. Mm. If he told me to shoot somebody, I would shoot somebody. No way. No way. <laughs> this was the guy. This became <clears throat> the leader. You know, I um, I thrive off that. It's hard for me to even excel if somebody doesn't dislike me. I hate me. I need it to excel. Mm. Like you hey, left hey, your hey, body. Hey, hey. It's the most scary experience you'll ever think uh, go through in your life. You know that you're dead. Hey man, I don't want to do that. that no, sounds... yes, you do, yes, you do. I do want to do that. You believe in the saying you are who you hang out with? No, I believe in this. You show me who your friends are and I tell you who you are. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I believe okay. that one. Yeah. Okay. Listen, in life, do you just want to be you right now? Do you want to be this way to the day you die? No, you think. I'm about working it. on it. No, but do you want to be like this to the day you die? The same mentality, the same way you think about life, the same way you think about humanity right now? You want to stop right here and think? No, no, I want to move. Say it, hunky. <laughs> say it, hunky. Say it, nigga, hunky. Say it, say it, say it, fucking say it, hunky. <laughs> Listen, am I wrong or am I imagining that? No, say nigga, hunky. Say it, hunky. Come on, cracker. <laughs> Mike, I have to ask you a question. Say it, say it. Say it. I can't say it. Let it make him say it. Mike, make Adam Egan say it, Mike. God damn. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm so scared right now. The butterflies. Listen, right? And I'm a guy, I'm conscious. I understand the process of fear. Since I was 13, I understand the process I was taught. And I just, I'm a little bit scared. I'm crying before it. <laughs> but I know I'm, I'm not crying to get my ass kicked. I'm crying because I'm gonna lose the same people. I'm not gonna love me no more. I'm not gonna be nothing. I'm gonna go back to Brownsville. Nobody, I'm nothing. I'm a failure in life. I'm nothing. I'm a bitch ass nigga. And then I'm a, and then as soon as they say it's time to go, I turn into a monster. Mm -hmm. How does that happen? How do you think it happens? I don't. So I knew about the world. It wasn't like, I was stupid from the world perspective. I knew what time was. I knew not to go there. I knew okay, be careful so here. So you talk about all the negative shit, right? Yeah, that's what all I What about the know. positive shit? I don't know that. Tell me. What happened to you? Me Come something on, something about, positive happened. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. bullshit. No, something, fuck you. You don't no, know bullshit. You don't know me. Something positive happened. Well, I went, something I went positive. To fucking, what, I went to fucking free lunch, nigga? Something positive well, happened. Well, I went to free lunch. They fed us. I'm, I'm addicted to food. You don't look that way. You look at me like, no way. Mike looks great. But listen, um, if that feeling comes over me, I would eat four big 10 pound cheesecake pies right in front of you. <laughs> hey, I'm Mike Tyson. I'm gonna wave on that. And let you know that the possibility I might come back. But if I do, I'm gonna fight the spirit of mouth. <laughs> What the
the dog doing? <laughs> you call him a counterpuncher? Well, or a counterbiter? Well, I, I was, Mike, 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 Mike was, Mike was like a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake? Yeah, but he was like, he, he had a diss and looked like he couldn't get you, and he get you like that, and so that was always I'm gonna get you. I, I'm, I'm afraid to get out of here. Is once my once I saw my eyes opening again, I saw him looking at the eyes because when he was butting me with his head, I saw him looking at my eyes to see how it was open. I totally lost discipline and um, I went in survival mode. <laughs> <laughs> Now wait, one, 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 one thing, Steve, one thing. There's a sound bite for you, excuse me, Mike. One, one, one thing here. Um, well, I didn't think I'd ever ask this, but what does a near taste like? It tastes like ass, it's horrible. <laughs> well, his was, his is bad, his is bad. When the bell, I've always wanted yeah, to ask you. I, I, it it was so bad, I took a second bite, right? I was gonna say, you must have liked that ass. <laughs> Ready. I want you to have Mike stare at you from the oh, side. Nice. Look, ah, no matter how you... It's just scarier. You look at a guy like me at this stage of my life, I'm doing good, got a couple of hundred million dollars properties and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And I hate myself. No, I know you don't. Look at you, nigga. You look at, no, look at you, nigga. Look at you. You gonna tell me how I feel about myself? Come nigga. on, really? Who are you, nigga? Who are you to tell me? Who are you, period? No, well, this uh, is well, who I am. Right, I respect this that. This is who I but am. But me and you go so way I back. I know, but listen, you. this is just some people have. You don't know what I've seen. That's so true, though. Yeah. That's so true. What we all seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah, I haven't yeah. walked in your shoes. You're yeah. absolutely right. But um, I was amongst the men. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think you're controlling. I know that you think you're in control. You're not. Yeah. You're not in control at all. But you, you believe you are because I can see how you you work. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. not, brother. You're not. This is happening because somebody, something wants it to happen. Uh -huh. You're just a vessel. You're a vessel and you're helping other people. You're just a, you're inspiring other people, but you're nothing. We, you're, you're being used. I'm being used. Mm -hmm. You know, but we, we're not as poor as we think we are. Uh -huh. we just, we're just tools to inspire some other people to do great shit. But we're nothing. Listen, um, let's go deeper that. You want to experience being God for a few minutes? I'm into boxing a little bit. But I, I never understood why, like, you know, in, the, in between rounds, the, I don't know if it was the cut guys or whatever, they'll be plastering your faces with all this Vaseline. Why would they do that? Punches slide off. They slide off. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, I brought a whole thing of. I'm wondering if you can apply some to me, the way that one of your corner guys would. Okay, you know. Just like, like tons. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, we gotta get them over here. We gotta get this up here. Get some of the nose. Too. <laughs> All right, we got right here to go behind the ears and try to bite the ears. All right now, right around here, dude. Oh, oh. no, no, no. Yeah, put it over here. The punches are just gonna slide up. Get the punches up. Give them up. Give them up. All right, round one. Come on. Keep going. Yeah, yeah let's try some punches. Let's chew. Let's chew. Chew. Successful. Couldn't stop. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, I'm functioning just about. He just can't stop. Mm -hmm. You know, he just couldn't stop. Yeah. I didn't want to stop. You know, I had to get rock bottom. I had to almost die to stop. So, you hit your rock bottom. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um, when you hit something like that. And to see where you are now. Nigga, my rock bottom is when I won the championship. That was your rock bottom? Yeah. The first time? The f I mean, when I won the championship, yeah, 20 years yeah, old, 20 that years was old. my rock yeah. bottom without me even knowing it. It appeared to be my fucking, um, my destiny, my life, yeah, but that was up. my rock bottom. If I don't get um, 100 million views, fuck out of here! Fuck out of here, my dad! Like before fights about your opponents, I want to punch him on the tip of the nose to drive his listen, listen, the listen. bone up through his brain. You know what? I was a young kid then. Yeah. I'm 43 years old. You know, right? You still dwell on something I said at 20 years old, or 21 years old, or 19 years old. I'm 43. What do you What do you want to get from this interview? I, I want to see how what much you trying you, to. I want to see how much me? you've changed, Mike. You're, you're well, a different person know. now, aren't you? I don't know if I am or not. I don't want to be the person I was, but I don't know. Change comes in time. Change comes really in time. You're irritating me now. I'm, um, 
I guess I did change because I'm not um, assailing you. I would love to spend more time with you. You are an incredible guy. Thank you so much. Well, what the hell did you put I, me on I the show you, for? Well, I put you on the show to get you on to talk about your, your series. We talked for a long time, actually. Oh, no, but we talked for a long time off the camera. I, <laughs> the new show, Mike Tyson Mysteries, airs every Monday Don night Lemon at 10 <laughs> I'm a dog swim. Thank you, Mike. But I think this is our time now. You're going to get Kevin killed. You better stop. You better stop. Just go sit down. Just go sit down and say have a good fight. Listen, I've been working with Kevin for two and a half years. I've never seen him prepare himself like I'm he has. I'm going to him like a fish. Sit down. He's yes, focused. I'm going to hit Mike Tyson on the chin. He's going to think the whole of Ireland as an island hit him on the chin. Not, You're going to break your hand. I don't care if I break my hand as long as I hit him, you know what I mean? But, uh, You're not talking as tough as your friend over there with the pinky ring. <laughs> nice to you and talk about fornicating with you and letting you suck my dick because if I was eloquent with you, you would still look at me as a... Now, some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You don't even want to say that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that, you know, because it's negative and you're being negative. And I, 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 met, I met the mayor right. and nothing they can do about it. Mike spent quite a bit of time yesterday talking about his life, highs and lows. It's so interesting because you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. Nah, that was a piece of, fuck you, that was a piece of shit. You know, we're, we're, doing, we're doing live TV. Hey, now. I don't care, what are you going to do about it? All right, you got, a, you got a show that you're doing tonight. We are. You know, a lot of people we are. are where it comes there. raw and it's the real truth. Yeah, a lot of it's people the truth. be there to see your show. Just tell us a bit about it. Um, it's a, you know, it speaks for itself. Everyone saw the show. All right. It's a Broadway production. It went to Vegas. It went to actually 28 cities in the United States. And we're really, really proud to bring it here. And we're actually going to Monaco on October 9th. We're going to be in Monte Carlo. Right. Is it nerve-wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. Um, it's more nerve-wracking for me to hear talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. come on, Mike. No, because you're a piece of shit. All right, really to we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up this interview. We, thank you for thank you for coming in. Fuck you. Well, for example, rage against uh, Evander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f it. It's a fight, so whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. I'm 36 years old, going to 36. I never dreamed of living this long. I never dreamed of fornicating with as many beautiful women as I did. I'm having as much money as I did. I won't talk nice to you and talk about fornicating with you and letting you suck my dick because if I was eloquent with you, you would still look at me as a scumbag. I may like fornicating more than other people. It's just who I am. I sacrificed so much of my life to at least get laid. You know what I mean? I've been robbed of most of my money. Can I at least get a blowjob? I wish one of your guys had children so I could kick them in their fucking head or stomp on their testicles so you could feel my pain because that's the pain I have waking up every day. Are you talking out of turn? No, I think we're all talking together. I normally don't do interview with women unless I fornicate with them. So you shouldn't talk anymore. Unless you want to.
Mexico's going to go after him. He wanted this fight. Mexico doesn't want this fight. But it's going to be like any point in the last three years. He could have had a former champion. And like he was, he's going to have a great payback. No, 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 no. Let me get off me. Get off my hand. You got, you, got, you got a lot of people coming in. I ain't doing it. You scumbag. You. I think they've just about had enough. Tyson showing desperation in fighting Holyfield two times. Look out now. More fighting in the ring after the end of the fight. Tyson's trying to get at Holyfield again, I believe. It is complete bedlam, and Tyson is just taking swipes at anybody in front of him. The police are coming in by the squad here, and they're still fighting in the... All right. What you see here? This should be fun. It's time for right. Detroit to be recognized. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Of the Hitman. Let's take a look. At well, of course not. But saying that it gets you orgasmic. That's a strange thing to say. Well, that's just what I want. I wanted to find out because you're really bright, and I thought you would <laughs> figure it. No, I'm being very serious. <clears throat> no, I know. I, I I know you're being serious. Hey, um, what does it mean, um, when fighting gets you, gets you erect? What does that mean? It's a good question. Means you're getting excited. Yeah. So, what is it about the the shrooms, Mike? What, Excuse me. What is it about the mushrooms that you've uh, that you found that you like about them? You, you're the way you look at me scares me a little bit. Oh no. That, um, because sometimes my mind plays tricks on me and my mind tells me I'm a bitch. If you think you're a friend and you walk around a bad man in front, why don't you fight that motherfucker? But why don't you just go right there and spit in his face? That guy right there. That's my mind. Fucks with me, nigga. Wow. Wow. You still got fire, man. Whoa. And I'm saying, why are you fucking with me? Leave me alone. I don't want to fuck with these people. Thank you, Mike. We won't get to your president too much shortly. First, let's go now to another boxing legend joining us tonight. He's just as much in the ring as outside the ring. But he was a great man, and know what else? Was? Right. Only thing I didn't disagree, he never said he didn't like confrontation. No, he, he didn't was like not. confrontation. That surprised you in him. Yeah, and, he was I'm a great different, and, I, and I'm different. I go right for your throat. Oh, I know that. I just go right for you. Not only in fighting, but just in life, I just go right for your throat. Especially if it's, it's a point where you violated somebody else's feelings or mine. You know? So when you told the story, for example, about being in Miami and kicking Don King in the head and having a brick of cocaine, that seems crazy to me. Well, that's what it was. Can you describe, uh, Mike, what your cocaine addiction was like? No, you can read about it in the book, though. Is there anything that was embarrassing to you, or is well, it something pre yeah, that you're pretty much Well, pretty much a, a great deal of the book was, but um, that was the book. Uh, he wanted the truth. I gave him the truth. What would you describe as the happiest time in your life, Mike? Um, I don't remember. If you want to know anything about him, you ask me. If I ever hear you, if I ever see you go next to my father again, you have a problem. And then I realized um, not to ever talk to somebody. By um, um, proceeding, asking me to shake my hand. Try to shake my hand right now. Let's try to do it. Go through the procedure. Go through the procedure. Just go through the procedure. No, it's been like this. Go like this. Hi, hey, congratulations. Good fight. Yeah. Oh, I see. You you ask me no. Yes. Right. Go ahead. And um, I think I won't, I won't do it one more time. That was the beginning of that whole intimidating thing. I was a little kid and I realized... You don't talk. Don't talk to them. Um, just look at them like you want to kill them. Do you ever worry that you're being used for how open you can be about the things you've done in your life? I don't know. You don't want to give... Um, I'm doing the interview. You tell me. That's what I'm asking, because that's kind of a dilemma sometimes with dealing no, with somebody is how much is asking and how much is using. I don't know. Everyone knows me. Like I said before, I'm pretty transparent and stuff, so I figure everyone see who I am anyway. I don't look at the world as if I'm a block wall and no one can see through me.
but it feels like this particular process, this feels a little bit uncomfortable and that we're poking at you for book sales and that we're poking and poking, asking you questions. I, I, don't, think, I, don't, I don't think you're poking at me. Do you feel that you're poking at me? No, yeah, well, a little bit. I feel like this, this whole process is not something, you've done it for so long that it's something that's less than enjoyable to you. The idea that we would sit here and in order to sell the book, we continue to ask you questions that you may or may not want to answer. I don't know, I'm asking you everything you tell me. Everything you say, I'm answering them. I'm not avoiding any of your questions. Do you figure that I'm avoiding anything, sir? No, no, not at all. I, I, but, I, but I'm not sure that you're enjoying it either. How dare you talk to me like that? You should, you should get up and kneel to me now, and I'll spare you the night of the 28th. <laughs> I'd also say, you come in and you come ready. You understand? Because I'm going to come oh. ready. You understand? Okay. Okay, you know that. I don't know you why you ready. talk to me like that when you know I'll kill you for it. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Mike. You talk tough. M Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. He's a, he's a ignorant little kid. You know what I mean? And uh, he's going to be like that. I don't want to bring myself down to his level. So I don't really even want to cherish that thought. I'm going to go in there and we're going to fight. And that's the bottom line. Oh, man. I can't wait till the 28th. I'm going to make you my girlfriend. <laughs> Let me tell you something, you. Hey. You hear that? You know something? I'm not even going to um, dignify that with a hand. So you know why I'm not dignify that with a hand, sir? Because I don't want to bring myself down to your level. There's something you can't buy in that class. And you don't got none of that. You're sweet. I'm going to make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. Happy now? You happy? Happier? Well, I'm, I'm cool. You know, I'm not no perpetual happy guy. I'm not happy um, 24 hours a day, every second of the moment. I'm happy. Hee hee ha ha. But um, I'm cool. I'm, you know. Can be learned in talking to some of the people he fought. Look at the, look at here, look at here. Just, Just laughing at him. McNeely on Samsonite cable. No, Sam Salmon. Hey, come on. Move it. You want I, I like this seat. I like it better. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. I'm rolling with Mike Tyson. Time doesn't give a fuck about any of this. No, those. no. Just keeps going. No, don't wait for nobody. What was it like fighting again after all those years? Hey, listen, I did this told this DMT I'm stuff. I'm a little ashamed about that because I'm... Um, I know my shadow. My shadow doesn't deserve what my consciousness receives. So I look at it funny. Wow. I never thought about it. Yeah, when Mike say shit like that, you just gotta just yeah. look at it for a while, just wait for, for it to die down, and then be like, yeah. <laughs> right? That's what I'm telling you. Hey, man, we're on the duty right now. Yeah. They determined that you were suffering from depression, as you just said, low self-esteem, and that you had problems with anger management. How have you tried to address those problems? Um, that's all they said was wrong with me? I, I don't know if that's all. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, those are me, among the things. Well, if that's ba those are the basic issues that's wrong with Mike Tyson, then I've joined a, 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 a long cast of people, famous and not so famous. It's amazing. I'm going to fall on my face. I was good in the ring, but I'm a god here. Boy, look at me. You're dead. Can I have a drink? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs>
Come on, come on. I'm a Shaolin monk, I'm telling you. It's back. Enjoy the mic, baby. <laughs> Spinal. Yeah. We're getting fucked up. You're scared, coward. You got men in the... Then I come in here and tell you I'm the Shaolin monk. You're scared, coward. <laughs> Have a great stand to you, sir. I gotta go home. No, fuck them. My back! The doctor told me, the doctor said your back is breaking, you have pieces breaking. We'll be reading the questions, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's fine, that's what the doctor Were you told me. really sick this week? Uh, what was the problem? I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back? My back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Look at this stuff. This is history here. Mm. You are, you are history. This is garbage. I can say I bled for garbage. So this is meaningless. No, at one time it meant a lot. When you're just a young kid, this is everything to you. But then you realize your priorities change. And you just want your children to be happy and do nice things. And that makes you happy. This is nothing. This is just nothing. No, 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 no. Get off me. Get off my hand. I ain't doing You should come back. You. You ever think we'll get to sit and do an interview, Mike, where you'll look at me and you'll say, I feel really great about everything? Do you well, think I feel you really can great get, now, you can, know. Can you get to that point where you can just relax and let it go? Why would I want to? And why would I want to be relaxed with you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, you know, I don't know. If it's someone I don't choose to be relaxed with, I don't know. In your history, you said one time that one of the things you've learned is that to succeed greatly, you have to be willing to fail greatly. Oh, 100%. No one failed more than I did. I deserved all the credit I received. Nobody's seen more than I've seen. None of these fighters, none of these athletes. I'm the king of the barbarians. There's no one that could, this, that could surpass me in the pain I've endured. That brings up, obviously, tough memories for you, that pain. Yeah, that's probably so. But I can deal with it. I can handle it. Seems like it's a... Good deal in the past? Nah, it's never in the past. Pain, I want them to see pain. I want their kids to see pain. Lennox Lewis, I want his kids to, oh, daddy, are you okay, daddy? Yeah, I don't care about them because they don't care about me and my kids. You think I give a damn about you and then y'all on there? I don't care about living or dying. I'm not no, I'm, I'm a dysfunctional mother. Self-generated. Yeah. You know, I'm at a point in my career You know what I mean? Your fucking movies with you, you lied to me that one day. Remember we did the com uh, commercial <laughs> about the movie shit? Yes, well, I lied. Well, you can lie. What do you say, Mike? It was me and the bad, but he lied to say he was gonna put me in some movies and shit. I didn't lie, I can't put you in Fatherhood of the Upside. <laughs> Those aren't the two. We got some we got something coming up that I can you'd do. Be, you'd be getting mad if you lost a monopoly. Yeah, these are <laughs> these are the ones that we're doing now, uh, okay. you know, where uh, uh I'm able to produce well, I can't and deal generate. With this shit, man. You know, we, we're we 